every single day it's a new problem. Uh, and every single day we have to contact uh, all our different wholesalers and find out what the availability of these products are. Whether it's prescribed antibiotics or over-the-counter medication, pharmacist Joe Lutmer says trying to keep product on the shelves has been a revolving door. He even has to reach out to his secondary and tertiary wholesalers. Our shelves in certain, at certain times have been completely empty of one product and then it comes back on and then it's empty of another product. Suppliers haven't given any answers yet as to why these shortages are happening. Lutmer believes this early start to the cold and flu season is partially due to our immune system still being weaker after the pandemic as life gets back to some normalcy. We are, you know, uh, dealing with the issues that we dealt with uh, two or three years ago when we had flu uh, in a normal season, but uh, it's coming earlier now because we are getting back into uh, in contact with each other. In the meantime, he says make sure you check your medication supplies at home and stock up on any medications you can find that target specific symptoms if you can't get antibiotics. I think it's important to have a good supply of cold remedies at home. Make sure you check all the expiration dates of what you do have at home right now and just make sure that they're still in good use. Now, along with over-the-counter medication, the best thing that you can do for yourself if you are sick is just rest and stay plenty hydrated and drink plenty of water until you are over that illness. Live in Hyde Park, Adam Berniston, WLWT News 5. All right, Adam, thanks so much. As we see more flu, RSV.